Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, called Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Give honors to the elders and apostles, Yahshua Allah, who are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. So I take to you, I came out this when it's true and righteousness and sincerity. Real fast, we're going to bring a couple of scriptures out and meditate through the Spirit. Basically, the topic is uh, uh, you wonder why they call you bitch. You know? And it's basically not just for the women, but for the men too, because a lot of people are sensitive to the fact that uh, the truth is not to be uh, taught by women. And not only that, when women come up against the men of the Lord, it's not, a, it's not, a, it's out of order. It's not in decency. And basically, we're bring a couple of scripts proving that. But the first scripture I want to bring out is in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and 6. And it reads, <clears throat> but thou, but though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been thoroughly made manifest among you in all ways. Because, you know, when we sit in there, out there, telling people, and a lot of people get sensitized, and they're like, oh, I don't like what they're saying. And I'll testify, I had somebody, uh, when I used to work in Whole Foods, he's a Jehovah's Witness. He said, I agree with what you guys are saying, but the way you, I see uh, some of them talk to women, I don't like that. I, 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 can't, I can't understand that. But even though we be rude in speech, it's not according to knowledge. And I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna, uh, bring another scripture out, basically proving that. Because when someone's calling you, when a man, when, a, when the prophets out there are calling these women, make call a woman a bitch, that's exactly what they are. So when they coming out there uh, calling uh, the men of the Lord different names, Saying uh, all kinds of craziness, madness, you know. It's a book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26 and um, 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, right? A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. Now, uh, when, you, when you go and look at the definition of the word bitch, it's just a female dog, wolf, Fox or Adam, right? So that's just what it is. Even Yahweh Shai, when you go into the, the in, in Luke, Yahweh Shai called her, uh, her King Harad a fox, a dog. You know what I'm saying? So when it says a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, that's literally a bitch. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna bring another scripture out backing that up because and that's a matter of fact. Yeah, in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, 14th chapter. Let me start at, let me start at uh, 33. Let me start at 32. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Prophets, because those are the prophets of the ancient time coming in in these times, prophesying and bringing out the truth, right? And it says for... God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. Now right there, it's talking about the law, right? And what are some things that are in the law? Simple things as it's like, women aren't supposed to be whores, women aren't supposed to be sluts. And in this society, that's what it is. Our women are sluts, whores, you know what I'm saying? And it's not, I'm not talking about all women because you do, you do know some sisters that are, that, that are shame faced, you know what I'm saying? That, would, that, do, that do wrap their head up, that do put on a, a dress or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? But then you got these people that are these women, these bitches, you know what I'm saying? These, 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 uh, these uh, fake men out here, these wicked men, Wicked Israelites that come to the um, come save a hoe, you know what I'm saying? Because we're correcting our women, and it's out of love at the end of the day. Put on a dress, you know, start wearing tight clothes. But in this this society, what do you see? You see women wearing all kinds of crazy stuff, right? 
people uh, uh, idolize Emma Rose and her slut walk, you know, Cardi B, and you know, she was a stripper or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Bring out uh, scripture real fast, Deuteronomy 23 and 17. And it says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. So, all right, so it says, There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. So when the prophets are out there speaking, telling uh, women that they can't be whores, and how do you, how do you, uh, how would you know a whore? You know? Basically, from how she's dressed. If you see a woman in these days, they're butt naked, man. You know what I'm saying? And I just brought out a video talking about how Job, you know, he made a covenant with his eyes, right? To not, to basically, not to think of a, uh, think of a maid, right? You can't do this. You can't do that in, in these times, because women, they'll, they'll wear. The women in these times, they, they're not wearing anything, and they're not wearing anything like when they're not wearing anything in the winter. They're not even wearing anything in, in the summer. It'll be 30 degree weather and the woman be in a skirt. And it'll be all it'll be all cool. It's all fine in, in this society. You know what I'm saying? But but this is the thing, you wonder why men call you bitch. All he's saying is you're a shameless woman. Alright? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just because it maybe it sound crazy, it sound crazy, but guess what? It's the truth. You know? Um preset. Twenty-nine it says, "Do not." This is the Book of Leviticus, chapter nineteen, verse twenty-nine. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to whoredom and the land become full of wickedness. So this is what we're trying to do: tell our women, "Hey, stop being a whore," and tell the men, because overly the, the man is supposed to get this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? And basically send it down through order and tell and tell their women, "Hey." You know what I'm saying? We don't, I don't want my daughters dressing like this, and I don't, you're not supposed to be dressing like this either. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go back um, into Corinthians real fast. Stop. You know, and, and this is the crazy thing because you got uh, social media, you know, you got social media because you got women that, you know, are trying to be Proverbs 30, 31 and 30 women, you know? But then you got, all this, all this wickedness out here, and they they call themselves bitches, and that's the thing. These women out here, they call themselves bitches too. They call themselves bad bitches. When bad, you look at the definition of bad. What that mean? That's second handed, second rated, poor quality, you know, careless. So you telling me you want a careless, shameless woman? When you break down the definition of a bad bitch or bad black bitch, because you know what I'm saying. Black just means what negative and void. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it means it's, it's dark. You know what I'm saying? That's what it means. We're not, we're not, we're not black, man. We're Israelites, and that's what you know. People need to understand. You're a princess. You need to get right. This is First Corinthians, back in 14. We start at uh, continue at 35. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame, there you go, shame for a woman to speak in the church. So it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church, man. And it says a shameless woman. So when you see these women coming down the street, you know what I'm saying, and, 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 and barking at the men of the Lord or the prophets, because it said the, the, prophet, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So when these women are coming and talking to the church and saying, oh no, you're not speaking, you're not, you're not, you're not uh, preaching the Bible. When we're coming out of the scriptures and breaking it down, you know, just because you don't understand it, you, you know what I'm saying? Because in Job also said, wisdom wasn't given to, roughly paraphrasing, says wisdom wasn't given to, to the women, nor un, uh, uh, understanding. It says, uh, verse 36, what? Came the word of the Most High out from you? or came into you only? 37, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord, okay? These are the commandments of the Lord. That everything's, there's an order to this thing, man. There's an order to it. Verse 38, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. And like I was saying, man, this Jehovah's Witness, got, this Jehovah's Witness, he was saying, you know, I like how y'all, yeah, what y'all teach, you know, but when y'all start talking about, you know, talking bad about the women, I can't get with it. 
But it's not, guess what? Let him be ignorant, because you're ignorant. That's, she's supposed to go home and not speaking. There should be no dialogue with these women that are shame, shameless, half naked in the street, coming at the men of the Lord, man. And that's, and that's the thing. But people, people, uh, people don't get it. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy, uh, prophecy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done in decency and order. And I'm going to go back to verse 33 because it says, Let all things be done decently and in order. And verse 33 says, For God is not the author of confusion. You should, the woman should, should know their place. So when you're wondering why these men are yelling at the top of the lungs, calling you a bitch, it's because guess what? You're out of line. You're, you're, a, shame, you're a shameless woman, man. You know? Real fast, we bring a, a First Timothy's chapter two, verse nine. In like manner, also the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You're supposed to be wearing modest apparel, all right? With shame, with uh, shame, fastness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or uh, costly array, which becometh women, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. There you go again, man. And this is the scripture. So this is the this is the this is the, the word of the Lord you're coming against. You're not really coming against us because when you go into Luke, it lets you know who that despises the, the men, despises uh Yahweh Shai, who you only call Jesus Christ. And whoever whoever despises him despises the one who sent him. Roughly paraphrasing. Alright? But I suffer not a woman to teach. Not nor to um, assert a short authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. All right. With that being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, the honest the apostle, the elders, the great millstone. Salutations to Yahweh out there, when His truth and righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.